What's going on guys? To start off this video, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for clicking on this video and um, just everything guys. I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers. Everything's growing pretty steady right now. I can't thank you guys enough, but thank you guys so much for the support. Um, pretty much while I'm talking before the fish catches and everything is still I'm going to explain um, what we're going to be doing. So in this video, yes, I'm going to be playing music over the fish catches. Um, the reason being, I was pre-fishing for a tournament, guys. Um, I was trying to figure out the fish, trying to find the fish, um, and that's pretty much what I was doing. I wasn't really doing such as a tutorial video, and I wasn't vlogging, therefore, for the reason. Um, is It was so windy out that you wouldn't even be able to hear me. Um, so that's another reason right there. But guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. I really appreciate your support. Please hit the like button, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, I'm gonna play a lot of fish catches um, of that day. I didn't get them all on camera, but we caught around 22 pounds. I'm gonna also show some footage from the day before of that day. Um, and at the end of the video, be sure to watch this video all the way through because at the end, I am gonna be showing you guys the rod and reel setup, um, what bait I was using, and kind of what we were looking for for um, when we're pre-fishing. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. We had a blast fishing out there on Lake Lanier. 
This was my spring break. I just decided to go out on Lake Lanier and just fool around a bit, figure out the fish. I haven't been on Lanier in forever, so it was like, I'm gonna go out in a couple of days in a row and just figure out what the fish are doing and get on them pretty good. So that's what we did. Had a blast um, and um, had a blast with my partner and my fishing partner and also my dad and also one of my buddies that we fished with the day before I took him out on our boat and we had a blast as well. But I'm pretty much gonna talk about what rod and reel I was using, what bait I was using and how we we're catching them. So um, you can pretty much use different setups of this but it's gonna be depending on how heavy the bait you're gonna throw. Um, but the rod I'm using is an Akuma TCS rod. It's the Scott Martin series rod. Um, and this one is actually the frog and swim bait rod. This one's gonna be a little bit heavier. This is a heavy action rod. And when I'm gonna be throwing this heavy action rod is when I'm throwing the three quarter ounce fish head spin. Um, this fish head spin is a little bit heavier. It has a skinny dipper on the back. It's a bigger swim bait. Um, and that's when I was trying to key, on, key in on those bigger bites and not catch those smaller fish. Um, and so that's when I would really be using that. But the reel I'm using is also um, a Akuma TC, or the Akuma Helios reel, um, which I absolutely love. And guys, I know I was affiliated with some other companies before, but I'm being 100% completely honest with you. I really love the rods and reels. Trust me, I wouldn't have switched over if I didn't love them, and I really like them so far. Um, and they just cast phenomenal. So that is the first setup that you can also, you can use. Um, I also have a second setup that I'll be throwing like a half ounce fish head and I won't have the skinny dipper on, I'll have the little dippers, the smaller swim bait, and those baits are by Reaction Innovations, um, great little swim baits to throw on the fish head spin. But I'll be using a half ounce fish head spin and the rod I'm gonna be using, the same exact rod, except I'm gonna be using um, a medium heavy. Medium heavy is gonna allow you to have a little bit more tip and it's gonna let that fish load up on it and you can just swipe to the side just like a crankbait on the fish head and you have a hook, hook setting up. So um, I just love that medium heavy rod for a fish head. Um, but that's only if you're using a half ounce. If you use something over that, I'd really recommend like a heavy rod. I mean, you can also use a medium heavy, but that's just what I was using. Um, and if you guys are wondering about the line I was running on it, I usually stick between 12 to 15, but on a fish head most of the time, I love 15. You can't go wrong with it. Um, don't really ever break any fish off. I'm using Seaguar line. Um, I don't really ever break. I don't really have any problems unless you fray your line or something, but just always retie and everything. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for um, not talking too much in the video. I didn't really get to talk because there was the wind and I was just like, man, I'm gonna have to play music over this. I was pre-fishing and just all this stuff. But guys, stay tuned for the summer because Kicking Their Bass TV is gonna be on a whole nother level. We're gonna have all kinds of content coming out. We're gonna have vlogs, tournament videos, everything. I'm gonna have a lot more time and I'm gonna get tons of content out to you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video and you got some tips out of this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Kicking Their Bass TV.